Hi guys, this is KidLink77, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we did meet up with Zelda, finally, only to have her snatched away again. By herself, however, she wanted to seal the temple, to keep it sealed and keep, you know, Demise locked up, you know. And to do that, she had to go into deep sleep, but we can't wake her up until, well, you know, I don't know, until what? What do we need to do? Well, we're gonna talk to the the headmaster before, um, you know, to do that, and maybe he'll have some, you know, some answers for us. But anyway, before we do that, though, we wanted to come into uh, the bazaar. Nothing we really need to buy anymore. I don't really need any things, you know, upgraded. But if you come in here, you'll notice that the fortune teller's missing. What could be going wrong, huh? Um, well, we'll find out in a moment. Let's uh, talk to Petrus. Hey, lady. Uh -huh. Welcome, my darling. I've, like, been waiting for you. You can trust me with anything. Yeah, yeah, stuff I mean. Anyway, you want me to hold on to something? Yes, please. I hope you're not in a hurry to go, sweetie. Alright, so, uh, what are we gonna be getting rid of here? Um, I could dump this and get, like, another, another bottle or something, but, well, uh, yeah, I just wanted to check, see if she had anything else to say. I think we're good on potions, so we'll leave that alone for now. I'll see you next time. Tee hee! All right, so, uh, let's, uh, go ahead and talk to this guy right here. He's got a bubble, so, hey, bud, what's going on? I haven't seen the fortune teller much these days. Uh, New Year's Christmas ball got broken, right? And just hope he's not sitting up, though I'm kicking himself for not first seeing this. You mind running over and checking in on him? This house is on the eastern edge of the sky loft. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, you don't necessarily have to go talk to him, but, well, it never hurts to do so. I'm poochy, I know, I don't know why you're whining. We, we, we went outside already, so, you should be fine. Alright, so eastern part, uh, we need to go, I think it's over, um, eastern, uh, I think it's like over here, actually, that's a graveyard, um, uh, blah, blah. it's over, oh, it's this house over here, so, right, let's, uh, head on over there, I guess, let's go, a Link, yeah, it's, it's, you think that this part is the, the western part, but it's not, I'm not gonna run out of stamina this time, nope, not today. All right, we need to keep going. Yeah, we're just like, okay. And like I said, still get lost in this area. That's stupid, but well. Look, can I... Ah, oh, really? Man, what? I don't know what time this is. Jeez, I stopped doing a very nice count because I just lost track. And, you know, at some point, I'd do it like every once in a while and then every day. So I had to stop doing it because I just, you know, I couldn't go back and watch every episode over to figure out where I was. So. Alrighty, so where is the stupid fortune tellers? I think he's, um... Oh, I know where he is. You have to go down here. Into this way. Yeah, I don't think we've actually been to this place before. No, I don't think so. Let's go and open it. And, uh, let's see what the fortune teller has to say. Alrighty. Hi, buddy. Alright. Oh, poor guy. You look so sad. You couldn't foresee this? Are you a real fortune teller? Huh? I'm fine, go on, go on, please leave me be. My crystal ball is shattered, and without it, my eyes can no longer gaze deeply into the future. Some of those, those exquisite, all-seeing eyes of mine have begun to dull and cloud over with sadness now that my crystal ball is gone. If only, if only I had a new crystal ball to gaze into. Is it not true that you recovered a piece of the windmill from beneath the clouds recently, young man? Uh, yeah, we did. The Shadow Crystal Ball was salvaged from below by Gondo's ancestor long before it found its way into my delicate hands. Uh, there may still be others like it. Where it came from? Yes, yes, yes. Would you search? Sure, let's do it. Yes, no doubt you can see the gratitude in my eyes. The robot who originally retrieved this Crystal Ball was said to have reported that he found it in a building atop a mountain peak. Can you believe it? Okay, cool. Hi, fi Dowsing really can recalibrate it to look at ball. It's a person seeking. If you're searching for another object, so blah, blah, blah. Search for a target. Do you wish to see here's a ball? No, I know where it is. All right, so under Sim Master, should you wish to set your dowsing target to the item? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. All right, and counting a young man with the micro ball cannot get into the future. Oh, no, my eyes, they would droop with despair. You bring me new crystal ball with all haste. Okay, so I'm actually going to meet you guys where the crystal ball is, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we've made it to the area of the Crystal Ball. We are in the, um, uh, the Earth Temple entrance, so just fly out of Elden and warp there, and, you know, you should be fine. So you're gonna need the, uh, the claw shops to get this, so if you remember way earlier in the game, I said that this would be, you know, used. Um, well, we can use it now. All right, let's get out of there, and, um, also, I pointed at this earlier, but this will come into handy, so let's, uh, go ahead and check it out. 
I located something that closely resembles the material used in the Fortune Teller's crystal ball. It should make a suitable replacement. Shall I call the robot? Yes. Do it. Master, I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission. Okay. Yay. Oh, there he comes. Great. We get to be heckled again. For the upteen time. Great. Now, oh, what's up, Scrapper? How you doing, buddy? Ish. Mr. Spy, I'm here. So, oh, you want me to carry this old thing? Hey, Master Short Pants. How come you always get the easy jobs? What? Whatever. I had to defend you from rope whatever forever, and that's a light object. Jeez. Waiting for you in the sky, so don't take too long. All right. Master of the Rules, return to Sky Collector's Ball as soon as possible. Okay. Alright, so now, guys, I'm going to meet you back in Skyloft, so I'll be right back. Alright, so we've landed in Skyloft, and, um, let's go ahead and deliver that crystal bow, shall we? Alright, so, Scrapper, what you doing? Where are you, buddy boy? Oh, I guess we just have to, you know, walk over to the place, and Scrapper will hopefully follow us. If I can remember where the place is again. Jeez. Could have just met you there, but, well... Nah. We'll just, you know, walk up there. It's not too far. I think he ends up here. Alright, Scrapper, where be ya? We need you to deliver something for us. I think we just have to walk in here. There we go. Alright, so, hey, buddy. We got your thing. How did Scrapper get in here? Whatever. Here's that bright and shiny crystal ball. Bzzap! Okay. Bonk. <laughs> You need me, boosh, slang, feel free to call. Permission to fly, we'll travel to any destination, glitter. The depths of hell would welcome you into open arms, sir. Oh, open my eyes, behold. This, this is it, you found it. This is exactly the same as the crystal ball you used before. Fates and fortunes, my eyes are wide with thrill of possibility and damp with tears of gratitude. I'll be able to start gazing into the future and making predictions at once. Can we use like a mirror or something to do that? I always assume that crystal balls are just mirrors. Come by the bazaar again, and I'll tell you a fortune for a special price. Great. All right, well, for doing that, we get five gratitude crystals. Awesome. All righty, so the crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. Taking a lot of bunch, blah, blah, blah. Okay, how many do we have now? 60, awesome. Um, I don't know if we get a reward for talking to Betro right now. So I think we're going to hold out on that. I think you need to get, like, ten more to make it worth your while. So, all righty. Now... Um, I don't really know what else we can do to solve the mystery of, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, of Zelda Predicament, so why don't I go ahead and talk to the, uh, the Headmaster, and, uh, hopefully he'll have some ideas. Alright, so let's go up there. Ooh, so I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. Um, I got some pretty cool things, um, uh, I was not expecting, you know, like, a my, 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 uh, one of my folks lives, you know, like, in Montana. Um, and, uh, she sent me a pretty nice, uh, a nice gift, a Samsung, uh, Galaxy tablet thing? I haven't actually opened it, gotten it ready yet. Never really owned anything that's, like, a tablet before, so I'm kind of excited to get that working and stuff. It's a really nice one. It looks really cool, so, uh, yeah. So hopefully you guys had a wonderful Christmas. Um, it's, it's about the family and the time you, f you know, you spend with them. Not about the presents. Just remember that. Hopefully you guys like the the Lapooch that I put at the very end of the uh, of uh, of the video. He's the troublemaker. He's adorable when he's wearing a Santa hat, but he can be a troublemaker. So don't be fooled by his appearance. All right. So hey, there's a uh, Gay Boris. Let's uh, go and talk to him. Hey. Ah, hello, Link. Have you uh, heard anything more about my daughter? What is it? If you know anything at all, I urge you to share it with me. Well. You want to tell me, but you can't. Mm, I understand. I'm sure you have a reason for keeping quiet. Link, I've been doing some thinking since we last spoke. You have had this destiny thrust upon you without warning or choice, and for that matter, but I wish to help you as best as I can. I'm getting older, and I lack the vigor of youth, but even old men have ways of being useful. I wish to share as much as, uh, of my knowledge with you as I can. If you have any questions, any question, not all about Skyloft or its history, I would be glad to tell you all I know. Actually, <clears throat> what do you want to know? You, what do I know of the Triforce? Link, where did you hear that word? It's true that the ancient texts make several mentions of the Triforce within their pages. 
Fortunately, the actual location of Triforce isn't eliminated in any of those tomes. Its whereabouts are lost to history. Sorry, Link, ashamed me to say it, but my knowledge is of uh, little use on this subject. Oh, well, who, who can obviously help? Um, all right, well, I guess, I guess we'll leave. Man, Gabor. Link, just a moment. Oh, what's up? Though there is one whose vast knowledge may be of use. Surely you're familiar with Levius, the great sky spirit who has guarded our realm for ages. Levius has served as uh, the protector of our skies for a long time, and his knowledge of this world is encyclopedic, to put it mildly. If anyone in the entirety of Skyloft and beyond were to know about the Triforce, would be here. Uh, where is he? I know what this encyclopedic is. Yes, I fear that might be your next question about that. Oh. I imagine in your travels you've taken notice of the tremendous thunderhead that appears, uh, suddenly appeared in our skies. Recently I've heard that uh, rumor suggest that Levius is uh, trapped inside that massive cloud. Oh, okay. I asked Instructor Allen to look into the troubling cloud in order to determine if there was... To determine if there is any truth to these rumors. I meant to inquire about his findings earlier, but completely forgot about it after Zelda went missing. Dr. Allen can fill me in on the details later, so why don't you go speak with him yourself and see what his investigation has revealed. Okay. Well, uh, Inspector... Or Inspector. <laughs> I guess he technically is an Inspector if he's checking stuff out. Uh, Instructor Allen is actually right next door, so we don't have to go too far to find him. Yeah, there he is. And uh, I think he's taking care of uh, the kitty, right? No, it's not him. Oh, well. Instructor Allen. Ah, uh, Link, how goes your search for Zelda? Have you found her yet? What? Levius? Ah, so you've been talking to the headmaster, I take it. If I'm correct, Levius is the one inside the Thunderhead, but that's not Levius that we all know. Well, I don't think we've seen him yet. That's a monster. Oh. Certainly looks like Levius, but last time I approached or but last time I approached him, he came rushing at me in his eyes. They were full of malice. Per per people change. Old more old wise and Creatures change, rather, perhaps. It's more than that. He is possessed by something. That's how it, it felt to me. Oh, okay. What? You want to talk with the Levius? That's impossible. I don't think Levius is capable of listening. Not in this current state, no. And even if you were to get close enough to talk to him, it will likely end with you getting brushed aside and sent flying to your death in a sea of clouds. We got our bird. We're good. What? You're still planning on going? I don't care what you gotta say. I see, it's because you need to find Zelda. Yep. I understand, I get the feeling nothing I could say would talk you out of it. Okay, so, you gonna help us? Hey, I have an idea, come with me. Oh, okay. What's up? Hey. Levis is inside the Thunderhead. He's been acting so strangely, like something has possessed him. If we can somehow free him from whatever it is that has hold over him, then there's a chance he will return to his senses. Listen well, Link, because I'm about to teach you a very powerful bird riding technique. It's called the Spiral Charge. Okay, cool. Using the Spiral Charge, you can get rid of Levius of the blight that has hold of him. The technique is quite easy to perform. I have to do is press A. However, the acceleration effect lasts longer than any attack move you've used so far. Obtaining stable flight can be tricky. This is a technique that only senior or Knight Academy students who have master high-level flight skills are allowed to perform. It's a little bit too early for you, but this is an extraordinary circumstance, so I'll make an exception this time. However, I will test you. Yay. First, dive off the platform and call your bird. Okay. Let's do it. Whee! Alright, meet you in the sky, buddy. Alright, listen up, Link. Touch your loft wing uh, to perform a spiral charge when you press A. Okay. Ooh, I see targets. Just A to spiral charge and break the 10 targets placed around the floating boulders up ahead. If you can destroy 10 targets under 20 seconds, I will recognize you as a skilled bird rider. Alright, so off you go. Alright, so that's one. That's the spiral charge, so pretty much the regular charge, just, you know, press A. Alright, there we go. There's one down. And uh, one's flying around, huh? All right, so let's take it easy. Don't really panic. If you panic, you're gonna miss targets, and that's not good. So down here should be some targets, and I saw one over there, too. All right, so let's get that one next. And we'll get the flying ones, I guess, this one right now. All right, and yeah, there we go. That bird is no more. All right, now there's one up here, and there's also one below us. So we're gonna go ahead and circle around uh, to get the next one. We've already gotten five targets, and you know, 40 seconds, that's not bad. All right, oh, that might be uh, too early. And yeah, there we go. All right, poor bird, though. 
Like, come on, buddy, let's go. All right, so now we have some over here, and there's one under us as well. Uh, why don't we... Oh, I was gonna say, why don't we get the one that's under us, but we flew too far. Oh, this might not be good, um, because I'm, like, spread out everywhere, so... All right, let's... Oh, I had that. Come on, really? Really? You're gonna dock off points for that stupid thing? All right, we're gonna break, because... I can't really do much here, so... Oh, come on, get up there. Oh, come on, Link. You got this. There's one below us, too, so I gotta swing under here, and then we got two of them. One's flying, and the other one is hanging out in limbo somewhere. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Where's the flying one? There he is, right in front of us. All right, let's hurry along. And come on, Link. We gotta get this one. We gotta get it in this one first. There we go. All right, 19 seconds remaining, so let's get the other one here, which is flying, too? Oh, okay. All right, well, go, Link, go, 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 Ten, nine, eight, oh, we got this, I think. Yeah, there we go. Whew, all right. I thought there was, uh, I thought it was just, like, stationary. I guess it flew and I missed it or something. I thought it was stationary, I don't know. Oh, you managed to destroy ten targets within the time limit. If you can control your bird that well, you have no problems at all. I knew you could do it, Link, and what a magnificent red bird. Thank you, that's what I've been told. Your hands first. The, the henceforth permitted to use the spiral charge attack as a qualified bird rider. Okay. Next thing we have to address is just how to go about finding Levius. Maybe the owner of the lumpy pumpkin might know something. Every year he makes an offering of his pumpkin soup for Levius. Go to Lumpy Pumpkin and ask him what he knows. Alright, so I'm gonna meet you guys at the Lumpy Pumpkin. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we've made it to the Lumpy Pumpkin. So, uh, I guess we're gonna go ahead and talk to the bartender. Hey, how's that new uh, chandelier doing? You haven't broken it yet, have you? No, but it looks still well stabilized, so we can't break it again. All right, how you doing, bud? What's the matter? You look like you've got something mighty serious on your mind. Actually, we do. We need to see Levius. Levius, what about him? Sir, I know Levius well, but I wasn't aware anything was wrong. Every year, I offer him an entire basin full of my pumpkin soup. But lately, a huge thunderhead has been brewing there, and I haven't made this year's offering. I tell you, I feel horrible about it. You say you'll deliver a pot of my soup to Levius? Huh, I don't know how you plan to fly into that huge thunderhead brewing out there, but if that's the case, I'm going to do everything I can to make Levius the best batch of soup ever. Yeah, good show. You wait right here. I'm gonna, I'm getting inspired to fire up some soup like I've never souped before. All right, how, how funny. <laughs> that's a big old basin, pumpkin basin. Voila, here it is. I've been cooking this stuff for well over 10 years, and I have to say, this is the best batch of pumpkin soup I have ever created. I wonder what it would be like for 10 years later or something. Hi, hey, Fi, what's going on? Master, I will signal for the robot. Okay. Miss Fi, I'm here. Ah, oh, you robot. How'd he get inside again? I don't know. Oh, that's a big... Oh, wow, buddy. Oh, this is another heavy load, but don't worry, I can carry anything. Waiting outside, I can take you wherever you need to go as soon as you're ready. Zat. Okay. Alright, well, Bob, Mr. Pumpkin Soup. Thankfully, this one uh, is not, you know, gonna expire after five minutes, so you can do whatever you need to before going to go see Levias. The place where I offer soup to Levias is inside the Thunderhead Cloud on an island with an everlasting rainbow. Oh, you'll know it when you see it. Good luck. Okay. Well, I think we're going to deliver the soup in the next episode. Um, so, yeah. Thank you all for watching, guys. You have an awesome day. And I hope that you take care.